Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP, where today we will conclude the 14th U.S. Infantry Project with a battle report against the dreaded Stonewall Brigade. All right, today's the day. The 14th will see the elephant today, and this battle has been a long time coming. It's been about seven months since we started this project, but uh, we are finally here, and we're going to have both of the Tabletop CP ACW armies uh, square off against each other in Bergville Gap. If you happen to be wondering where Bergville Gap is, uh, it's in Virginia somewhere. Um, in my head it is. It's a fictional place. It doesn't really exist. I asked the members of the Facebook group a while ago to give me a very generic sounding Civil War town name. And I said it should either have Berg or Ville or Gap in it, as a lot of the towns seem to have one of those words in the name of the town. And group member Brett Lynham has uh, suggested Bergville Gap. So here we are. As usual, before we begin the briefing, let's talk about the terrain. So first, the mat here is our cigar box battle mat, the Valley. And we've used this quite a bit. We've used it uh, in ACW before even. It's a great mat. It's a beautiful mat and uh, fits perfectly with the ACW theme. So other than that, uh, it's quite an open map. Uh, really, the fences are the only thing that really break up most of the line of sight, or not line of sight, but break up any kind of uh, movement and give any kind of cover. So there's plenty of fences around the board. These are all going to be soft cover and minor obstacles to cross. We have a few patches of woods. We have one here, one there, one over there, and one back there, and one over there. And those are going to be standard woods rules, four inch visibility, soft cover. All of the buildings will be soft cover as well. And that will do it. Um, yeah, that's it for terrain. Let's go ahead and talk about the mission. So for today's game, I'm not going to do a fancy overhead uh, mission briefing as the mission is very simple. It's going to be a modified version of an encounter, which is simply drive your enemy off the board, keep your force morale at three. Uh, the modifications are going to be, we're going to be playing long ways. The table will be broken into thirds and both players will get two fixed deployment points that they can place in any two of those uh, table thirds that they wish. No extra movable deployment points or fixed deployment points will be allowed. And there will be cavalry reinforcements available on four flags. If you burn four flags, you can bring in your cavalry. If you bring in your cavalry, they can come in anywhere along your board edge, or they can come in on one of the short table edges. If you decide to bring them in on a short table edge, you have to decide the short table edge they will arrive from before the deployment points are deployed. And that will do it for the mission. Let's go ahead and look at the forces. We begin with the 14th. So this is 86 points, not counting the cavalry. But if you carry us, the cavalry comes out to 16 points. So this is six leaders and under command of Major Joshua Bruder. He is the big man. He's a level three. Assisting him will be Sergeant Peter Jordan. He's a level one leader there to keep the men in line. And they're going to be in command of Three groups of Union Infantry, 1862 to 1863. These men are conscripts and volunteers. And they are armed with rifled muskets, and they are surly. Next, leading a detachment from the 69th Irish Regiment is Captain Russell. Captain Russell is a level 2 leader. He'll be flying solo today. And he is in charge of two groups of Union Infantry. And these guys are going to be armed with muskets. They are conscripts and volunteers. They have Buck and Ball, Stubborn, and Surly. So I kind of just made this unit up, copying the um, Rebel Musket Armed Conscripts and gave them Stubborn because they're Irish. And they, of course, retained Surly. After that, we have a unit of Union Skirmishers. These men are led by Lieutenant Andrew Beard, and he's a level one leader. And they are just regular skirmishers. They are armed with rifled muskets. And they have sharp practice. Then we have Lieutenant Timothy Orr. He's a level one leader in charge of the second US sharpshooters. So I've kind of made this unit up as well. They are light infantry. They're armed with rifled muskets. They have good shots and sharp practice. After that we have Sergeant David Stotzenberg and he is the artillery commander and he is in charge of a light cannon. And then last the cavalry reserve who are patrolling the area and may come in on four flags. Uh, they are just uh, typical Union cavalry with rifled carbines. And leading the Union cavalry force will be young Lieutenant Tyson McInnes, and he will be a level one leader. And that will do it for the 14th.
Next up is the Stonewall Brigade. This is also 86 points, and not counting the um, cavalry reinforcements. In command of the force we have Major Dan Klain. He is a level 3 big man. And assisting him will be his trusty sidekick, Sergeant Maxwell Klein, to keep the men in line. He is a level 1 leader. Together they will command three groups of Confederate infantry with rifled muskets, 1861-1862. These men are conscripts and volunteers. They are armed with rifled muskets and they have rebel yell. Next we have Captain Dan Beersford. He's going to be in charge of two groups of infantry with muskets. So these guys are conscripts and volunteers. They are armed with muskets and they have buck and ball and rebel yell. Then we have Lieutenant Bill Barksdale. He's a level one leader. And he will be in command of a group of cons uh, Confederate skirmishers armed with rifled muskets, and they have sharp practice. Next we have another group of Confederate skirmishers. These are commanded by Sergeant Will Bossman. He is a level one leader. And these guys are armed with rifled muskets, and they also have sharp practice. Next is the Confederate artillery, and it is commanded by Sergeant Moonshine Woods. So Moonshine is going to be commanding the light cannon. And lastly we have the cavalry reinforcements. These are commanded by Lieutenant G.P. Stewart. He is a level one leader. And the Confederate Cavalry has mixed weapons. They have Tally Ho and Sam, Col Sam Colt's Equalizer. And that will do it for the Stonewall Brigade. Okay, Andre's arrived. He's wearing his uh, tabletop CP shirt. If anyone would like to get one of those, I'll put a link down in the uh, description for the uh, Redbubble page. Um, and I briefed Andre, he's going to be the um, Stonewall Brigade. I'm going to be, of course, the 14th since they're just newly painted. I pretty much by law have to play them tonight. <laughs> um, we've uh, deployed our deployment points. I put one here, and then I put one there. And then Andre's got one there and there. And I already screwed up. Uh, I had said that before uh, we would have, if we were going to bring in our cavalry off the short edges we were going to have to indicate before we put the deployment points down but of course I didn't we didn't do that so uh, since Andre is kind of in the middle anyway it doesn't really matter which side I come in on and if Andre would close his eyes I will just point out right now what side my guys are going to come in on okay if they come in and then we decided that if Andre is going to come in off of an edge he's going to come in off one of the roads and I will close my eyes and Andre you will go ahead and point Okay. All right. So those are the edges our cavalry will come in from if we decide to bring them. And other than that, um, support-wise, Andre is bringing a musician, a holy man, and a sharpshooter, which is going to be that guy there. We had four points. I'm going to be bringing a uh, musician, and I'm going to upgrade Timothy Orr to a level two leader, him and his sharpshooters. And force morale wise, we're both at 10. So we'll go ahead and uh, get ready, or we'll go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. Go ahead, Andre. You're going to be the bag man tonight. Yeah. As usual. Oh. Blue boy. leader one. Okay, that's Josh Bruder. That's the big man. Starting it off hot and heavy there, Already. Travis. Yeah. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to not even bring him in yet, but maybe I should just come out and set the table. Huh? What, what exactly are you waiting for? <laughs> to see where you go. A rebel yell? <laughs> yeah. So I brought Major Bruder in over here on this side. Um, it's very tough fitting three groups within six inches of a deployment point. So I'll just snap these guys in when it's time to uh, activate again. Red leader four, that's Bill Barksdale. That's one of your groups of skirmishers. Barksdale has come in there. And he has the sharpshooter with... Oh, no, I'm sorry. The sharpshooter is... You brought in the wrong one, Andre. That's, uh... I just put Barksdale over there with him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we'll, we'll fix this. All right, Barksdale is now here with the sharpshooter, and he's going to get six shots with the five guys plus Barksdale. Long range uh, with the rifled muskets, but first fire and the skirmishers at long range. So he's been on fours with them and trees with the marksman. Ah! The marksman missed. But that's oh, a wait. bunch of fours. Wait, wait. Am I in, I'm in column, right? Oh. So really, it's another plus one, so it looks like it's going to be... Threes All and twos. Yep. One miss. 
Oh boy. Six hits. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me let me figure this out. With the marksman uh, up here, or you can pick probably the big man's group, right? Yeah. It's not okay. So it's not, or it's a point of shock. And then we'll get the rest of them together. All right. So the rest of the hits need to go on the big man's group. Uh, two points of shock. So they're at three points of shock. These guys here. A dead. A dead. The first casualty for the fourteenth. Oh no! Another casualty. Uh, see if it was it. Nope, not nope. the sergeant. So Barksdale's taken down two blue bellies. Nice. And put three shock onto the big man. That was a group. hell of a volley for. Uh... Barksdale's kind of a legend already. In the last game, he was pretty epic. Well, so he's just carrying on the tradition here. I thought it was just beginner's luck for uh, my my first ever Civil War volley. It could be that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Red flag. Oh, it's two flags. Red five, that's Bossman. That is your other group of skirmishers. So the other group of skirmishers has come in. This time needing threes. Is it a column? I knew I shouldn't have come in. Ooh. Oh, two hits. All right, so we'll do one on the big man. Nothing. Point of shock. So we're up to four points of shock now. All right, next card. All right, blue flag. Two flags in a row. Three flags in a wow, row. In all blue. Let me grab the chart. A 2d6 here with Bossman. Firing effect. A nine. Firing random event. Charge them to hell. Inspired by their volley and convinced the enemy is done for, the fire surge forward 2d6 inches. Okay. But I guess they're facing this way, right? So I guess I I'm was. Just... Yeah, I mean, I was. Okay. I, I moved them that way, so can I go right up the fence line? Yeah, that's fine. Four inches. Look out. <laughs> so these guys are all reloaded. That's your sergeant, Max Klein. Or, actually, they're. So it's a double re is it a double reload on these guys? No. These are right, they're just one one action one action to reload for the rifle muscles. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they're really good. Uh that's my, my number two. Uh that's your big man there. Big man. Okay. You guys come in there. Uh, kind of a weird setup here. He's got super weird. <laughs> these two are in column. The way the fence is he couldn't get everyone into one formation, so he brought in these two in a formation. So the front group's going to fire first. They're going to present since they're in a formation. And they're going to get, they're going to be hitting on fours. Um, and they'll be unloaded because they're going to present fire. Right. These guys, on the other hand, are... Their own group. Their so, own group, yeah. So, so they're just going to fire. Yeah, so we don't know if you can really do this or not, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who's going first here? Eleven. Eleven shots. Needing fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hits. All right. So let's go ahead and split those up. Two, four, six. I take it you want the eights, yeah. the extras on the big man or the leaders. So the big man's group. Two more points of shock. I knew wow. I shouldn't have brought these guys out. Here, Andre's talking me into it. Ah, two more points of shock. Uh, I'm gonna have some Man, this shock, is bad. but nothing there. nothing there. I got I got lucky there. And in my defense, Travis, so I got three and five. I would have brought them out. I just okay. had no clue it was gonna be so bad. Well, it's just the way the cards came out after, really. Well, that if the would have came out, it wouldn't have been an issue. I'm not. I'm. <laughs> st I'm still getting used to this 48-inch uh, uh, range. Oh, too. I know it's brutal. All right, then the next group. Oh, uh, you took it to fire the other group there. I was pretty happy with just firing one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and those guys are going to get only eight shots by hitting on fives. Okay. And one, two. Two, all right. Big man. Oh, I think in there in column, we keep forgetting that. So did you, did you get any? Uh, no, I don't. Nope, still I didn't, didn't see get any. any. Okay. Another point of shock on the big man. So the big man's group's up to six already. Wow. And I didn't even bring the holy man. First Oops. time ever. <laughs> All, All right. right. Next card. Red flag. Okay, hold on. Let me think if I want to burn these three flags of mine. I might do that just to bring something in. If I burn my three flags, I had to bring something in. Um, we were talking about bringing the cavalry in, but... Uh, that was a, uh, like a 50-50. Yeah. And not bringing anything in would really be a 
Yeah. But I'll probably draw the flag and then their card will come out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the sharpshooters under Timothy Orr are going to come in. We're going to fire at those boys over there. Uh, but needing threes because you're in column. So all but one. So six, six hits. hits for the good shots. All right. Split them up. So three on each. Yep. So front group. A dead and a shock. That group. Two, two shock. shock. Okay, check and see if it's uh, Major Dan. Not no. Major Dan, thankfully. Whew. Okay, so a dead and a shock and then two shock. Not a bad first volley from War and the sharpshooters. Hey. Oh, hey, it's my start. My, uh, yeah, I could use those flags to pull a bunch of shock. Well, they'll just pull a shock. Down to five on the big man's group. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and seven? Okay, that's... Or six. six. That is Stotzenberg. That's my cannon. Ooh. Stotzenberg is on. And really the only thing he can even see is Barksdale. So we're going to lay the gun on Barksdale. We're going to present and fire. Effective range. Need threes. Ouch. So seven hits. Seven hits on Barksdale reduced to the open. A dead and a shock. You got lucky there. Oh no, a dead and two shock because you're in the, in open. the open. Okay. I'll take it. All right, uh, Stotzenberg, the inaugural shot from the Union Cannon. Just taking down one of Barksdale's men. Red three, that's uh, Dan Beersford. That's your group of musket armed conscripts there, those two guys. Andres decided to not bring Beersford in just because. He didn't want the uh, guys with muskets just walking across this open field. I did a little bit of math and here. it was really ugly. They only have a 24 inch range. Hey, there's my fourth flag. Can't do anything with it. So I actually should, well, no, I'm, I'm holding out for... Uh, okay. Blue five, that's ore. He already went with the three flags earlier. Six. That's Moonshine Woods, that's your cannon. Hossenberg's coming in over there. He's gonna fire another salvo at these boys here, needing threes. threes again. There's a miss. These guys are all screwed. That was my only miss. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, lesson to anyone playing ACW sharp practice. Don't bring your guys on in column. <laughs> I forgot all about the 48 inch ranges and they've taken everything. More fire than they're gonna probably ever be able to get rid of. With no holy man. Um, so a point of shock, a dead and a shock, and then two, two more, more points shock. of shock. Wow. It's ugly. These guys already have 13 shock on them. Yeah, never bring anyone in column in Civil War. Just <laughs> <laughs> when you're playing lengthwise like this because they're never going to do anything. That's uh, Beard. That's uh, my other group of skirmishers. Beard in over here off of the pig jump off point. And we have a uh, line of sight to Bossman. So we're gonna fire, uh, two of the guys are gonna be high, hard cover, two of the guys, uh, the rest are gonna be light cover. First fire, uh, that's probably long range, 24, over 24. Yeah. So it looks like uh, three hits. Just over 24. Yeah, so I went from a, yeah, I think I need four, so three hits. And two of the hardcover ones okay. hit. So two hardcover, one soft cover on the boss map. Uh, dead. And that's nothing. Just nope. So just a dead check and see if it's Will. It is Will. Oh boy. This could help me out. He's knocked out. So we've knocked out Bossman. Uh, that'll help. And I think that's it. So next card. Three. Captain Russell, that's my uh, fighting 69th Irish detachment. <laughs> They're coming and call them over here, so I said what not to. <laughs> but really that more applies to if nothing's on the board, don't do it. But uh, Captain Russell and his men are over here, so I got all my Irish guys over here. Oh. And the Tempest Fugit Tiffin. So. The red flag was last. Uh, oh darn. 
All right, we'll uh, shuffle them up and be back for the next turn. Right, here we go. So I need my, uh, I need some flags and then my sergeant. Okay, hey, there's a flag. Right. Oh wait, that or is your flag. flag. Yep, it is. I'm blue this time. Oh man. Oh okay, man. Okay, it's working out perfectly. Uh, that's Beard again. So Beard, what the hell's Beard gonna do? He's over here. Beard, we're just gonna fire again at Bossman's group. Uh, so no first fire this time. I'm long range, but I am skirmisher, so I'm back to fives. Three hits. Right. Give me another kill or shock. Okay, oh, kill. I'll take it. Actually, that was on. Yep. So that's two shock and a. Uh... No, because you're. In... Oh, I forgot to split up the shots. Ah, just that's fine. Just give him a kill. See if it's bossman. It's him again. He's a poor guy. <laughs> He's knocked out again. Oh, you forgot to roll. You got to do two bad things, Andre. Okay. Probably nothing. Probably nothing. I'll check it, but uh, so far, Will Bossman's taken two hits and maybe saved his group from more damage. So they did drop one. So Bossman's taken two uh, musket or mini balls. <laughs> 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 Poor bastard. <laughs> Laying on the ground with them as mini balls. They're holding them up in front of him. <laughs> Come on, sir, block this shot. Uh, red six, that's Moonshine Woods, your cannon. Oh. Well, so, yeah, reloading. Not, uh, Thank not God these cannons of... don't have sharp practice like the <laughs> can, cannons have. That is brutal. Oh, oh shoot. That's interesting. Uh, okay, so I have uh, two and you two have flags. one. flags, I got one. So two flags, I went first. First thing I did is I had this back group move by itself just to get up here to get me out of column. And that'll save me at least maybe a couple of hits. And then I moved my Irish up. Yeah, we have a, we use the house rule that um, if you're in column in the open, you roll three dice six and pick the two highest just to be just to make being in column in the open worth something. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. And then uh, Andre just had Barksdale and his boys pull back uh, along the fence line there. And next turn. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Okay, starting Same off just start. Like that. Hey, it's my sergeant. Okay. So, uh, Sergeant Peter Jordan's going to use that flag and we're going to pull two shock. Which is going to drop these. I need to start the process. I'm going to have to use every flag I get until then. Uh, that's Bossman. You can see if he gets up. I think on a five or a six, he'll pop up. Nope. Well, if you're getting hit with too many balls, I mean, how are you going to just jump up? Yeah, he says, <laughs> stay down, sir, stay down. <laughs> Uh, that's the cannon, Moonshine Woods, again. Fire! Woods is going to uh, present and fire the cannon at Bruder's formation. What did I say you needed? Oh, fours, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, fours. Three hits. Three hits. Brutal. One Brutal. each. There's One kill each. Everybody on the big man. It is a kill. Nope. Nope, so just a kill. All right. Huh. Not good enough. So a cannonball literally took one guy's head off. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's ugly. We were sharpshooting. Uh... Okay, was that a red four? Yep. That is Barksdale over there next to Moonshine Woods. Uh, so the sharpshooter will be hitting on fours, everyone else hitting on fives. Okay, so the sharpshooter hit. So I'll roll him first onto uh, the big man. This group, that's a point of shock. Okay, and then two more hits. These guys, these guys, another point of shock each. Ah, oh, this is uh, horrible. I've learned a valuable lesson tonight. Well, <laughs> you, you're, you're absorbing all my firepower, oh. if nothing else. Well, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, you, you're welcome. four casualties? <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. Look out. So, blue flag, all right. Okay, come on, give me the one. I need to pull five shock. Is that a five? That's uh, my sharpshooters, Timothy Orr. And they're ready to rock. They're loaded. And what are we going to shoot? So, Lieutenant Orr, firing at the column, needing fours. Uh, four hits. So, two each. Uh, two is on. Point of shock. Point of shock, all right. And he'll reload. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to move up with my free move as well. 
just to get to the edge of the woods. Hey, okay, next next card. Oh Ooh. boy, damn. damn. I need that blue one to come out, damn it. So I can start pulling some of this shock. Uh, so I got two again and you have one. Okay, let's think about this. After the tiffin, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have beard fire. So we're gonna fire again at uh, my Bossman's guys. I forgot again to pick him out. Uh, was that one hit? Let's give him a hard cover since I never indicated what was what. Oh, oh is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Bossman for a third time? Yes. <laughs> <It is. laughs> okay, just kill the bastard. <laughs> Come on, three. <laughs> 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 All right, so it's, well, okay. that's a little ridiculous. I would say at some point you'd be dead after getting hit by three of those things, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> roll appar them. Apparently, they're just uh, <laughs> roll another bad thing. Little, Andre. well, actually, the, I am racking up the bad things here. Yeah, that's a minus one, maybe a minus two, but I doubt it. Down to eight. Yeah, so that dropped Andre down to eight right there. Bossman's gotten hit three times. And is still alive somehow. But he's got a full. You got. You have something to do still on. Oh. Right? You still got a card. I got a card. And then the last thing I want to do after he does his thing is just uh, have Stoutenberg reload the cannon. Andre has moved with his flag into the house, and that is the end of this turn. And hey, that's a different start. Red flag. Come on, blue one. Or, yeah, blue flag, blue one. Blue. Oh no, red four. That's Barksdale again back there along the uh, fence. Well, we'll uh, deal. This is just turning into a long-range uh, firefight here. Two yeah, hits. Two hits. All right. Big man's group. Point of shock. <laughs> Nothing. He's almost back up to where he was before uh, yeah, Sergeant Jordan took those off. It's taken uh, too much firepower to get in there, but... Okay. Ooh, sharp practice on the cannon. <laughs> And that's my cannon, okay. Stotzenberg. Stotzenberg and the cannon are on the move. Hey, it's the sergeant. All right, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pull two more shock. <laughs> Woohoo! Because I have no choice at this point. Next card. Hey! Oh boy, the big man. Major Dan Klein. Andre had Dan snap that group into the end. He pulled the shock. And he's going to activate them. They're going to reload and fire. They're going to present and fire. <laughs> Very confusing. But they're going to be hitting on fours, and these guys are going to be hitting on sixes. Oh, so they do need to be separate. Yes. First, the uh, the hot shots. Fours. Three hits. Three hits. All right. And so then, that's uh, one well, each. This is all together, though, right? It's right. just different that's stuff. To... That's true. They're all in formation. And Two sixes. More. Okay, so five hits. Five hits. Come on, I just got them down to 12 shock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. What did you say, 12 hits? Uh, Five hits. <laughs> five hits. <laughs> right, 12. Yeah, 12, 12, Travis. Okay, so we'll do uh, leaders. Uh, well, technically, I probably should get some cover from this fence here since I'm closer to it than you are. Uh, from the eight group, so that was... That um, was... Three, I believe. Three, so, um, yeah, one on each. Yeah, so okay. so green dice would be... Well, they would all have to go on this one. Because they're the ones in... These two are the ones in... Oh, color. okay. Okay, um, I see what you're doing. All right. So, we'll do it like... Uh, <laughs> This is bad fit filming. I'm doing this all on the camera, but what the hell? So here we go. Uh, point of shock. All right, we're doing good now. Two more? Eh, that's not good. Nothing. All right. So we took three more shock. So these guys are up to boys. seven. Not good enough. And these guys are up to five. So these guys, uh, they wound up having to fall back because they had seven with six. There was conscripts, so they fell back two. With everyone just fell back with them. So the formation is not going to break, but I still have to take a bad thing, which nothing. You're good. Whew. We're getting close to that board edge, guys. <laughs> Don't go back any it's further. It's a flat earth. <laughs> flat earth syndrome. Uh, that's Bossman. He's uh, knocked out, right? So you can see if he gets up. Come on, after man. Three come on. Ball hits. Uh. You shouldn't be getting up after three hits with a mini ball. Well, maybe the third one he'll uh, get up. Maybe. That's the cannon. 
Okay, so that's Moonshine Woods. He'll just reload. All right. Red flag. Three flags. Uh oh. So you can bring in um, Beersford, or you can wait. Well, uh, I still haven't really moved off the. Uh, <laughs> haven't made any move move room for him yet. Hey, well, that's a uh, uh, point of shock. Yeah, you can pull a point of shock. Good old Sergeant Maxwell Klein, doing what he was born to do. Uh, blue five. That's my sharpshooters, Lieutenant Orr. So Lieutenant Orr was going to fire over there, or <laughs> over here. Or he can change his mind. And we're going to change our mind because we're going to we're going to fire at Moonshine Woods over here. Um, see if we can plank somebody. What am I needing? Fives. One hit, two hits. Two hits. Right. Soft cover. Two points of shock Ouch. on the Moonshine Woods. You know how he got that name? No, I do not. I guess he was uh, out in the night, like, you know, going to the bathroom and everyone can see his ass. Ah, <laughs> and here I thought it had something to do with a still. No, no, no. Uh, something to do with a bare white ass. Ah, damn it. Okay, um, well you got three flags, so you I can do. you can do something. So this first flag, um, Sergeant Klein, who is now in command of his own group <laughs> over there, has moved that way, and then he's going to have a bossman's group from the house fire at Beard over here. Um, Needing sixes, or they've already fired, right? This is not their first fire. Okay, so they need fives because the sixes, but they're plus one because they're over their long range. Skirmishers. So two hits. Two hits. Two hits onto Beard. Uh, point, point of shock. Point of shock. Hey, point of shock. Sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. And you have one left. Do you have anything left? I don't. All right, move on to the next turn. Okay. Let's see. No, oh, that looked man. like a red one. Major wand. Dan. Red one, Major Dan red, red activates. one. I'm going to have uh, his formation. Dan's formation is going to fire, and he's going to have Barksdale fire. So, so Barksdale will be firing first. What, fives and fours? Uh, uh, one yeah, hit. one hit. Point of shock, hey. A point of shock. I guess I should have <laughs> shot at the... Uh... Actually, you moved back now, didn't you? I think I might be in soft cover now. Because before he was closer, so well, the way... Well, back too, though. Oh, that's true. But, yeah. That's true, I did 20 back. and 18. Yeah, so I'm going to get the cover from that fence now, which means I think I rolled a 3, which means no shock. Okay. Yeah, that's our house rule. If you're shooting over cover, if the target is closer to the cover than the fire, they get the cover. If not, they don't. All right, then we got the big formation over there. He's going to get uh, 16, 17, 18, 19... Do I have to split them from... Nope, you just fire fire away. Because everybody's got shooting at somebody in the open? Uh, uh yeah, hold Because, well... Right, he'll fire everything in the open. Then. Which means all going to go on to my big man group. <laughs> well, doesn't it still spread, though? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that's how we play that. Uh, what do you need? Uh, sixes. You need sixes. Only sixes? Yep, because you already did your first fire, you can't present anymore. So, two hits. Two hits. Little group. Nothing, Nothing. yeah. All I had to All do right, was a point of shock on that <laughs> middle group. <laughs> oh, that's right. They're going to start falling back, aren't they? I need to start pulling some shock off of those boys. Uh, I think the holy man would have been better than a musician for me in this game. Yeah. Come on, cannon. And a relic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Bossman. You can see if he gets up. This is the third time, so he should be third able to. Third time's a charm, right? Not no. This time. Stay down, sir. He's wounded, yeah. Just just relax, buddy. Hey, uh, you yeah, get pull some a shock. shock. I'm going to pull one off of this middle group. <laughs> <laughs> they need it. Okay, red flag. Do -do. Oh. Blue four, that is uh, Andrew Beard. Beard, uh, we're moving out. we got to make something happen here. I'll probably get a face full of uh, rifled carbine from the, from the cavalry. <laughs> huh. Uh, right off the road. <laughs> I can't charge when they come in, just so you know. Okay. Uh, six, that's uh, uh, Stotzenberg again. 
Watsonburg has got a nice movie is coming up. We got a, I think we need to get in canister range. Red six, that's your cannon. Sorry, Fire. Chad Woods. Or that's true, Andre. Which actually <laughs> might even suck worse because all of this would have been focused on <laughs> other. We were just talking about how we haven't seen the blue one since the first turn. And that's, when I, that's how Andre talked me into bringing them in, was because he said we might not see it again for a long time. He was right. And that's only two hits, uh, isn't it? I think it? you're needing... Uh, no, because you present, yeah. Present fire. Fours. Okay. Three oh, hits. Three hits. All right, these guys here. Point of shock. Oh, a dead. dead. And Another dead. dead. Ah, oh, this blows. Um, so they're going to have to fall back. Do you have to roll for a leader? No. No, I... No, no, I don't. Okay. All right. Uh, so these guys are now going to be falling back again two inches. So we'll just put them <laughs> they're right up against the edge of the board. We pushed them back to the <laughs> edge of the world, boys. Oh, God. What a disaster. Next card. Can I get the blue one? I just, I, I would like to see it. Okay, now would be a good time for it. I could pull five shock. Perfect. <laughs> Ah, uh, so you have three, I it, have two. It is two. in there, just it is, okay. to full disclosure. All right. So Andre passed, he had three flags, he passed with one to make me go. And then I moved my Irish are coming out. He's gonna have uh, Sergeant Klein's guys fire at them. And call them. Ouch. Are you within 24? I believe so. But it is worth measuring. Oh yeah. Okay, so I think that's a effective range, plus one, so fours. So, all but two, so that'll be seven hits. What? Seven hits? Well, no, because you don't get, you don't get uh, clines after the tiffin. Six hits. So, six hits, all right. So, blue will be the front, green will be the back. Oof. Damn. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, this is uh, not a good outing for the 14th, Jesus Christ. Uh, three shock on the front. Uh, I do have to roll for him. Oh, God, it is the leader. <laughs> He's killed. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Captain Russell's been killed. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, going downhill fast here. Bad thing happens. That is a probably level two leader killed. Uh, probably minus one. one. We'll double check, but we'll just say that for now. And, okay. And then I have the next one. Yep. What do I have left? Um, <laughs> these guys. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to fire a freaking volley. Even though or, I got a lot of shock. I mean, what right? else am I going to do? You got too much shock to move up. Just, I got six shock. Yeah, so you can't. Well. So if I moved up, uh, if I got a. 2d6, you might go an inch or two up. Yeah, I probably should do that. Just to get off of the edge a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're not going well, anywhere. It was a, it was a good <laughs> thought. <laughs> so you got one thing left. <laughs> Six shots uh, from Bossman's group in here. Andre's just going to try to finish me up here. And I think you'll be needing fours again. Because if you're not over long range with those skirmishers, they don't get the plus one. Oh. Uh, I will get cover but, for this, though. So is that just two hits? I think it's hits? two hits. I think you needed fives. Okay. I think, but. It hardly matters anymore. So the front group will be uh, green. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't lose a leader again. Hey, the Stonewall Brigade's uh, seen some combat. These guys haven't seen shit. Wow. They just got off the painting table. And that'll do it for this turn. Okay, here we go. Let's put these bastards out of their misery. Blue flag. Red flag. That's and three flags in a row. That's three. All right, let me grab the chart. Okay, give me 2d6. Oh, Ooh. that can't be good. Uh, a nasty discharge. The leader commanding the unit's fire steps forward to motivate his men and is shot in the backside. Reduce the leader's status by one. It's okay, so he's knocked out three times and he's reduced to a level one. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> So even he if he did get back flavor back, game consciousness. <laughs> and they got shot by his own guys. <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Poor Boston. Okay. Not a good start. <laughs> uh, Captain Russell, uh, he's dead. 
Might as well pull that one out. Uh, the cannon. Uh, didn't you shoot it last time? Uh, I believe I did, so Reload. he reloaded. Okay. That's my cannon. Okay, and now I can't uh, see anything because these guys are in the way. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> Irish. Get the hell out of the way, we're just going to move up again. Four inches. Boston <laughs> just moved over here, and then Bossman tried to get up again. He's full of holes. Hey, hey it's my sergeant. Full of shock. Yeah, right, pull three. three shock, damn it. Woo! Off this middle group. So I'm going to pull two off the middle group and one off the end group here. All right, give me your blue one, blue one. Ooh, what are you... Oh, I was going to say, you almost got the cavalry charge. Yeah, I don't think um, Tyson's going to be able to help at this That's point. That's three in a row again, isn't it? That's three in a row again. So, I, I think the last thing that happened was Stotzenberg moved. Mm -hmm. All right, let's roll to see what happens. Charge. Charge forward. Charge them to hell. 3d6. <laughs> uh, eight. Dress the ranks. The ground is worse than it looks. The formation reduces any dice rolled. So forget it. No effect. Red five or blue, blue five. five. That's my sharpshooters again. Timothy Orr. So Lieutenant Orr here is going to again fire at moonshine. Wow. Nothing. That's not easy to do, Travis. That's not sharpshooters. <laughs> Actually, it is. It's not easy to uh, miss every shot like <laughs> the that. the second sharpshooter, not the first. Hey, there's your fourth flag. Oh, man. Okay. Sharp practice. <laughs> um, does anybody have it? Uh, my skirmishers do. So I could I could actually fire with these guys again. Yeah, what the hell. I'll fire with Orr again, sharp practice them. Or, well, or if the Tiffin comes out, though, you got a couple of things. That's true. I need to be able to move uh, Beard. So we'll, we'll wait. Good call. Ooh. Oh, four flags. So you can bring your cavalry in and just really stick it in. Because it's over. Here they come. E.P. Stewart and his men have come in here at the canter. Aiming right at Bruder's formation. Hey, uh, look and at this. Put the flag in there. Okay. Good call. Uh. That's Beard. So, okay. Beard is going to move. Beard has rushed up there. He's trying to win this battle on his own. Ah, the red one, again. All right, here we go. He's gonna have uh, Dan just fire his his formation first, and then he's gonna have Bossman's group fire out of the house. In sixes. One, two, three, four hits. All right. Good thing I pulled all that shock earlier. Maybe that's why he hasn't come out. He's hiding behind the <laughs> corner. I can't see anything. Two more shock. One Another more shock. shock. Good thing I pulled all that shock off of them, they'd be off the board. And they're dead. How many you got on the uh, end group? Six. But they, these you guys count. The other end. Oh, these? Uh, three. Okay. And five dude. Plenty of dudes down there. Oh, yeah. We're great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got you right where we want you. <laughs> um, so I'll fire this group into the. Okay. So that's six shots there. Yep. Only because Bossman kept getting hit. Damn. I think that's all hits. I'm hitting on four? No, because uh, you got the fence there. The that, that's, for, that's for cover, though. That's for saves. Oh. So it's all hits. Okay, three on the front. Another dead. Three on the back. Uh, point two, of shock. Two shot. Or, oh, soft cover. Yeah. Soft cover. That's right. Not bad. Uh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. All right. Uh, next and control. We'll, we'll uh, fire this group at those guys. Okay. So that's going to be eight shots. So six. Uh, fours. Because you're in column. I'm in column. You're in so. column, right? Yeah, fours. Is there an effective range there? Okay, eight shots. No, nine shots. I get the leader or off of that. Uh, right? I don't think you do because he was activated by your other leader. Oh, so I get three. Just <laughs> <laughs> three different ones. Remember when we used to do that? Yeah. <laughs> Eighteen inches away. Ooh, threes? Uh, I think it was fours. No, I want it to be threes. <laughs> <laughs> 
One, one hit. hit. Wow. Skated there. One hit wonder. Oh, oh. another dead. All right, we'll take that. The iris are dropping like flies. And uh, that was that. All right, next card. Your sergeant, Sergeant Klein. Uh, that's Beersford. That is your guys that haven't even come off the, on the table yet. <laughs> He's still got guys come off on, the boys. table. <laughs> yeah, we don't need you. Just hang it, hang back at the tents. <laughs> Cook us some food. <laughs> so he's just gonna have Beersford come in over there. It's a tight spot, and trying to get within six of that, um, and and get any kind of arc is is difficult. All right, we're gonna see the blue one finally. No. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, that's Barksdale. The skirmishers over there. They'll pull a point of shock. Cause they. Oh no, they haven't activated, have they? I didn't uh, activate them. I fired everything over here. No, they haven't shot or anything yet. Yeah, we'll fire. Okay. So four and one. Okay. Uh, one hit. One hit. Who do you want them on here? Uh. Big man's group. Sure. These guys only need one more shock and they back up again. Okay, hit them. Okay, come on, fence. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh. That's going to make them fall back. Yep. Um, <laughs> so, is, I think I get to choose if I fall back with everyone, yeah. which I'm not going to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to just... Uh, see you guys. Oh, God. So, that's... Uh, that for the broken formation or the... Uh, that was for the involuntary yeah, withdrawal. Okay. And broken formation. Uh, it's got to be like a minus two probably. Let me check. Shock free. All okay, right. we got two cards left here. Can I see the blue one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Do your worst. That's uh, Captain Beersford. That's those guys that just came in. Hey. Beersford had his guys advance up and he snapped him in with his last command. Thankfully, he can't see Beard from where he is. <laughs> Tiffin! <laughs> no, uh, Stotzenberg, the cannon. Uh, he's lined hey. up on the main group. I might as well fire. got a shot. I got enough dead guys now that I made a path <laughs> for my shot. So we're going to fire the cannon. And you didn't even have to be the one firing it. Nope. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Make Six, a hole! Seven. Get out of the way, guys. <laughs> Uh, so what do I need? Uh, I'll present and fire, so force. That's Damn. not bad. That's One, really two, good. three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits on you. To hold the shot by Stotzenberg. Four each. Alright. Main man. Ah. Other dude. Well, if I could kill Dan, that'd be Ooh. great. Oh, four shock on the other group. Wow. And two dead in Dan. So see if it's Dan. It's got to be Dan for me to have a hope. Nope, it's not Dan. Okay. Welcome to my world. A red flag. Red four. That's Barksdale again. Over there. Same old, same old. All right. How many shots do you have? Uh, one. Two, rather. Two. Okay. That's why I'm firing four shots okay. and a sharpshooter. And the sharpshooter. So, which... Uh, yeah, I guess you got to pick one now, huh? Was, this is what, the big man. This is uh, so what? Sorry. Yeah, I don't care about that. Who's got? What's your shock oh, situation? Uh, this guy's. These guys got six. Six with they seven. Have three. And three with. So yeah, I'll go after. The, oh, those flag dudes count for. Yeah, they add two. So, so it's you got six with nine, or eight. Huh. Or uh, I might as well shoot at the big man. Maybe we'll get a lucky shot. You can't he's hiding behind the barn. <laughs> <laughs> we can shoot through the barn. All right. Um, Eating fives? I think. Actually, if I shoot these guys, I'm shooting in the open, aren't I? Yep, yeah, because you got that hole in the fence. I'll thing. shoot them. Okay. Taking the shot in the open. Nothing. Barksdale finally misses. Woohoo! Red flag. Flag. That's three flags for you. Uh, sure. Cavalry charge. You could activate them. Yeah. Uh, with the three flags. Yep. So, uh, okay. So, what do you need here to get to me? So, if you're going to go to the gallop, 
you can probably reach me if you get a hell of a good roll. Well, I was shooting for the center of your line. <laughs> <laughs> I strategically went for But I can still hit those guys, which I'd rather hit these guys, but, or actually... You could if you cantered, you could still hit these guys. But no, I need to gallop to get range here, I think. Okay, we'll roll and we'll see what he needs. So Andre's going to the gallop. Um, he'll just leap right over these fences. And he needs 13 on these three dice to make it. Oh, shit. He yeah! Hits. Oh, God. GP Congrats. Stewart's coming in. Oh, shit. That might, that's definitely going to be the end of the game. Because that's my big man. Yep. Here comes GP Stewart. But you got uh, your tough... Uh, you got your flag bearers there. I don't, does that matter in the cavalry charge? You'll probably just capture the flags, and that'll be it. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did we kick your ass, we humiliated you and stole your flags. <laughs> Alright, we'll count them up. 6 versus 17. That impact cavalry at the gallop is a 12 base. So what do I need to... 5s and 6s. 5s and 6s. Uh, I got a couple. I see quite a few there. So 5 6s and 2 5s. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm screwed. Unless I get the roll of a lifetime here. Yeah, Not horrible. Right. Above average. Five. Five, six, six. Five, six, six. We rolled uh, the green one, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dudes, which is everyone. Well, and it's your leader's hit My leader's going to automatically be hit. See what happens to him. He's killed. <laughs> Why the hell not? Brooder's killed. Yeah, they're going to obviously break. They're going to take another, what, five shock and be down to one dude with 11 shock. I think that, I think you might have captured the flags too. Let me check that. All right, so these guys are dead. Brooder's dead. Uh, he would have had to duel with, um, with GP Stewart for the colors, but since he died, we're going to say he doesn't. So a bad thing, uh, senior or level three leader killed. On a five, that is three. Uh, minus three. Nice. <laughs> the dreaded minus three. Down to four. And then uh, group withdraw, another minus one. So I'm down to three. Yep. And we'll say loss of face for the loss of the colors. Uh, that's nothing. Okay. Apparently they don't care about their colors that much. Not when everybody's dead. <laughs> One guy running off, the colors laying on the ground. <laughs> he wasn't too worried about it. America. <laughs> hey, this is what it, this is what it was like in 1862, though. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, yeah, we'll we'll be back. <laughs> All right, we're gonna wrap it up now. I'm just gonna withdraw. There's no point. It's a complete blowout. Uh, not even close. Blue leader one never appeared again after the first one. He was the very first card of the entire game. Yep. And, and you, then, got, you got him out of the way. <laughs> but you're right. If I didn't bring him out, he would have never come in, and that would have been just as bad. Yeah, man. So when your big man doesn't ever appear again, um, yeah, that's not good. Well, it, it might have been okay if he hadn't had just gotten shocked all to hell, and you were, you know, if you could have gotten him online and just been firing volleys oh, and yeah, exchanging great. shots with uh, flags after the tiffin. But. Frankly, I forgot about the long ranges when I brought them out. And on a board like this, and in this era of the black powder era, the 48 inch range, yeah, you're yeah. asking for trouble to just pop out in the open with, uh, in column. <laughs> well, and in Travis's defense, he was kind of hemming and hawing about bringing them out in the first place. And I'm like, what the hell are you waiting for? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, that's because you forgot about the. Well, <laughs> the long range. Yeah, I've, and, I've not played this, you know, I, it just didn't occur to me that it was a problem. And then, of course, you know, with three units, you've got to come in in column to get everybody grouped onto the board. Fit, and, yeah. yeah, it was just... Uh, yeah, if this was a, a um, you know, American War of Independence where everyone's got muskets, we would have been... That wouldn't have and been... And that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I'm going to deploy, I'm going to walk up to that fence... And I'm going to line it and dare you to come out. Yeah. And then I never moved again. <laughs> Except for back, I moved backwards a few times. <laughs> I did move backwards. Yeah, you're, you're fighting the wrong war, Travis. <laughs> you're fighting the wrong war. Yeah, what are we, like uh, 80 years? 
Yeah. 90 years too well, late. <laughs> the good news was I was fighting the wrong war too, but uh, it worked out in my favor, obviously. Yeah, so not, yeah, having uh, Bruder, yeah, it's not Bruder, I mean, I'm not going to blame Bruder. He'll be back. He's going to regain his honor, and he's going to re recapture the flag. So we have an automatic built-in uh, <laughs> battle or scenario for next game. And that'll be more of a custom scenario, and we're going to try to get our colors back. It's got to happen. We can't let uh, Old Glory fall in the hands of the traitors. It's just no, that uh, that not, can't stand. That can't stand. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, and my MVP for this one, I I have to say Beard. He's uh, he's the only one moving and doing anything. The Irish, mm -hmm. bad idea popping out. They should have snapped in and then went out. Yeah. But I was thinking, well, I got to leave room for my cannon, or I'll never fire it because it'll take well, me the rest of the game to get them swing uh, it, around the outside. It would have been true if you had done that. You never would have fired your cannon. But but they probably would be in a lot better shape. <laughs> yeah. And then losing him, uh, just a, t a complete disaster. <laughs> yeah. No. I, it. I mean. It's one of those, you know, the cards, the dice, everything went south for Travis tonight. And yeah. uh, there's, you know, it... <laughs> it happens. It happens, but <laughs> it's, it's like, man, you know, um, it's nice to win, but, you know, this, you know, <laughs> I'd like to think I, it was due to some skill on my part, not just dumbass luck, which is really all I displayed tonight. Well, the 14th have uh, seen their first action and they got their asses handed to them. As to be expected with a brand new, newly painted army. Well, and that's what you come new out. Painted army syndrome. You you you, uh, <laughs> you came out. Your their paint was still fresh. Yeah, I didn't want to touch them, so I didn't pull any of their cards. <laughs> but the uh, Stonewall Brigade scene action. So they're uh, they're veterans, and they beat up on the uh, newbie Fourteenth appearing in Virginia here at Bergville Gap. So uh, yeah, the so the, the Soviets <laughs> the veterans have taken Bergville Gap. Defeated the 14th. Not a great game, you know, but like we said, it happens. So two game, two weeks in a row now. Our last game last week sucked ass. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, it was bad. I hadn't checked it out yet. Yeah, well, t yeah, yeah, I'll tell you about it after we're done here. But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. So, uh, yeah, apologies for the uh, weird, kind of lame, boring game, but uh, that's what happens sometimes. And uh, like I said, we got that out of the way. The 14th have now seen some combat. The next time they come out, we're gonna they're gonna do a lot better and hopefully recapture their colors. So, uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, say uh, thanks for watching. Check out our Facebook group, check out our Patreon page, and all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.